One day, long, long ago, God was looking down upon the earth, watching the men and women he had created. And he saw that they had become extremely wicked. They were robbers, murderers, cheats, liars, gossips, selfish, and in general, not very nice folks. The holy God saw that every thought of man's heart was continually evil. So, with a mighty sigh of grief, God decided to blot out every living thing off the face of the earth. But then, God thought of Noah. Oh, how God loved Noah! For Noah was a righteous man and walked with God in all his ways. upon the earth. And Noah said, which translates, will you repeat that please? So God said again, and Noah said, which translates, that's what I thought you said. Then God continued, Yes, Noah, I will destroy the whole earth by bringing a great flood upon it. However, you and your wife, your three sons, and their wives I will save. I will also save two of every kind of animal, bird, and creeping being that is upon the earth, male and female, and you are to gather them together. Now, I want you to build a big boat. A very big boat. A very, very big boat. And put all the animals in it. Well, Noah was quite overwhelmed by all of this. He looked up to God, spread out his hands, and said,
and the kangaroos shook the ramp with their constant hopping. The squirrels were chattering away and always getting out of line. And those crocodiles, well, they kept staring at the ostriches, which made them scream. The monkeys were swinging all over the place. But finally, they all got into the ark, and God himself shut the great door. Then it started to rain. It began with just a few sprinkles. Then it grew strong, stronger. Then it began to pour. And it thundered. And lightning struck. And every living creature on the earth drowned. Except for Noah, his family, and the animals safe on the ark. Finally, the rain stopped, but it took 150 days for the water to dry up from the land. In the meantime, there was plenty to do aboard the ark. The animals had to be fed and watered and comforted when they were afraid. But at last, the ark came to rest upon the mountains of Ararat. When Noah was sure that the water had all dried up, the great doors of the ark were opened. Out came all the animals, happy to be free to roam the earth once more. Noah and his family built an altar and offered upon it a sacrifice of praise to God for his deliverance. Then God set a rainbow in the sky as a symbol of his promise never to destroy the earth again by flood. And every time we see a rainbow, it should remind us of Noah, his obedience and faith in God. God kept his promise to Noah, and God will keep his promises to all of us who believe and trust in Him.